This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA, and we are coming at you on location in beautiful, sunny Miami, Florida. That's where we are this time, right? Miami, Florida for Metro Connect 2020. And I'm here with my new best friend, Mr. Steve Levitt. Steve is the VP of Sales for Connected to Fiber. Steve, welcome to JSA TV. Dean, thank you for having me. You bet, you bet. So, Steve, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Connected to Fiber? Absolutely, I'd love to. So, Connected to Fiber is the go-to-market platform for both buyers and sellers inside the connectivity space. And what that means is we brought together the intersection of um, commercial location, network connectivity, building tenancy, and pricing into a single view to help solve for three core challenges in the market. Excellent. So um, you, you mentioned an ecosystem. Ecosystems are, are uh, huge mm-hmm. for you folks. Um, and, I know, and I knew that uh, Unity Fiber, who I just spoke to yesterday, um, VisionNet and uh, MetroNet are new members, partners in your ecosystem. Why don't, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what that ecosystem means um, to your existing customers and potential customers? Yeah, I mean, let's, let's cut right to it. Our, our platform is great, but it's our ecosystem partners that makes, really makes it all work. We've sure. got the best customers on the face of the planet. Um, and when I think about you know, this industry specifically, it, everyone relies on everyone mm-hmm. right, to be successful. Right? It's the most cooperative environment that I've ever been in. Mm-hmm. Um, but the problem historically has been um, these relationships were managed on a series of manual processes um, and different standards for data. Mm-hmm. So what we've done is we've tried to bring people together around you know, um, a very vocal and collaborative environment with a standard set of data and automation and practices to help really drive um, new partnerships. Yeah, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go off script for just a second. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I, I saw um, when I was uh, kind of doing some research on Connected to Fiber is that very often um, your your partners, customers are saying that they are seeing a legit increase in kind of their, their top line revenue. Um, it's, you know, can you talk a little bit about, um, about, about that? It just seems like you're bringing, you know, under, pulling back the covers on, on new revenue, new um, customer potential for them. Sure. And so then there's a couple of core drivers, right? Anytime you have a manual process and you're tying millions of dollars of revenue to that manual process. Yeah, you mentioned spreadsheets. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, a couple of times. Um, it, it becomes a challenge. Um, and really the effectiveness of what we've done is we've brought together the right people into an ecosystem um, that's growing each and every month. And we put a, a consistent language in terms of data mm-hmm. that they're working from in a a ton of automation so that their relationships now are more one click than you know 15 spreadsheets yeah, yeah. and what that ends up doing is it drives top line revenue improved margins because we're giving you intelligence about how you're pricing how you're focusing on writing uh, the, the right prospects um, and we're putting that all into a single system so when everyone's coming together both the buy side and the sell side in this consistent community Everyone wins in that, in that equation. Yeah, yeah. Um, so and so that in that by definition is digital transformation, right? Um, yeah. So, but digital transformation, you are enabler of digital transformation. Why don't we talk? Everybody is talking about this right, right. now, so we might as well too, yeah. right? So, why don't you talk about uh, digital transformation as it relates to your your customers? Sure. I think that you know very generic term, right? It can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Of course. Uh, but I think there's a couple of technologies that are that are creating some tailwinds in the market today that are going to require more digital transformation in order to satisfy that. Um, things like 5G, SD-WAN, the push to the edge yeah. are, are all going to require consistency in what data people are using, but more specifically, who has what where. Yeah. And if you can drive that into the market in an automated way and allow that to be consumed in a single platform and you get people collaborating around it, that's that's our role in the digital transformation is to kind of take that manual movement out and replace it with more automation. I love it. Let's talk about um, 2020. Let's talk about predictions. You mentioned sure. some buzzwords that everyone is talking about, obviously, digital transformation, um, IoT, SD-WAN, 5G. Um, some predictions on your side from your from your seat connected to Viber. Um, what's going to happen next? Yeah, well, I think... I'll, I'll explain that in two ways, right? I think I think the the industry is going to have those trends, and, and we're already seeing it, right? Five G is going to be transformative. It's mm-hmm. going to change the way the world works. Um, it's going to require uh, an amount of density to be built and more infrastructure to be built than ever before. And I think, despite all the what ifs and how tos, and you know, how do we get there? Mm-hmm. There is one constant, and that's location. 
right? Who can do what, where, where does this infrastructure need to be built? Who's actually in the position to build it? So we've worked really hard to bring together some core data elements like rooftop or cell tower or small cell power network yeah. that'll help drive the, the deployment. Um, I think from, from our ecosystem perspective, um, we're putting a lot of muscle behind um, a couple of core things. So you're going to see transformative um, capabilities come out across every part of our platform, but more specifically, um, a lot into our configure price quote capabilities, deeper, mm -hmm. richer um, analytics and automation. Um, we think that that's, that's the place where people are doing business ultimately. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the more we can enable that, the better. We're going to expand outside the U.S. so people... Our customers that are working with multinationals or global organizations, they're going to have our capabilities that will now reach out into other parts of the world. And then lastly, APIs. And this will tie me back, back to where we're going. <laughs> you did it. Um, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but APIs, it's, you know, that's the glue, right? Yeah. So everyone's got the common set of data now, but it's how do we integrate that data into their workflows, their go-to-market. That's where they're really going to achieve those improved margins, mm -hmm. you know, greater close rates and things that we discussed earlier. Steve, thank you very much. Very insightful. We appreciate your being here today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV um, and listening to JSA Podcast. We'll see you soon and happy networking.